Good afternoon, hello, welcome to the Triathlon, our YouTube channel, and welcome to another day of Triathlon training. Ice cream time, just hit the jackpot at the local shop. Vegan Magnum, and you've got what? Caramel Millionaire Magnum. Double Caramel Millionaire Magnum. That's all right. Let's go to the left. Okay. So, um, this vlog's a little bit mixed up because of my shoddy upload schedule and somebody taking over a day's video to talk mm. about chickens. So I'm shortly going to cut to the chain gang, which was actually last night. Uh, it wasn't a good ride for me, but I'm quite bored up as you can probably tell. I probably whinged on about it enough. Oh, a I know, I know. So it's well, Saturday. We hunt for ducklings. We are I'm not actually that. hunting them, like just to see them. <laughs> just to see them, yeah. Just clarify that. Um, so yeah, so chain gang in a second. That's from last night. Been out for a long, steady run this morning with a little local group. That was good. Uh, but I'm really struggling with any sort of intensity, so I'm just going to try and dial back the intensity and the volume a little bit and get over this before. It breaks me because I feel really rubbish. I've had a nap this afternoon. That's normal. Yeah, I know it's normal, but like I, <laughs> like I really, I really felt like I needed it. All right. Now I know why I do intros and stuff without you. <laughs> anyway, let's cut to uh, some clips from last night's chain gang because it was a great ride. A lot of great rides. Duckling. Have let's you? Cut to that first. Okay, I think these people have seen enough like birds for the last couple of days. <laughs> okay, see you there. Oh, why is that one on its own? Here, look. It's getting quite oh, big yeah. now. Where are you going? You're getting quite a big, aren't you? The light doesn't make it look as rough. I'll be the videographer, thank you. So, um, I'm just about to head out on the chain gang. I feel a bit bunged up and rubbish, to be honest, but I need to get it done because race season isn't very far away, is it? Um, I've had a lot of power naps, so I feel a little bit better following that, but uh, Liz wants me to get her legs out for an update because, and I quote, why she's not riding tonight, she's battered and bruised. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm that's... tired. That's not why I'm not riding tonight. Okay, all right, you're tired. I'm a bit up as well. All right, come on then, get your legs out. Right, I'm going to show you my injuries. Let's see the little milk bottles. So I've got a few injuries here. Yeah, was that the cat or was that the crash? That was the crash. <laughs> yeah. That's a bruise there. Can we call it a crash? Or just a bump? Then I've got. Oh my goodness. All this bruise. Yeah. And all this bruise. Oh here. man, that is not good, is and it? And then a little scratch there as mm. well. Just tend your quads for us. I can't. <laughs> 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 Blimey. Like my wrist hurts still, but I don't think it's any worse than just hurts. Okay. It's a bit sore to touch. All right. And my shoulder hurts a little bit as well. That was a test. Make sure that you weren't faking it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, Chang Gang time. Uh, I'll either Chang cut Gang. to. <laughs> That's what you said. <laughs> See you there. Chang Gang. Okay, so I always show you these chain gang clips when I like do really well and smash it and put out loads of power, etc. Um, on the nights when I get dropped, you might forgive me for not sharing that in quite as much detail, but I'm going to share with you tonight. So, um, as I've mentioned once or twice, got a bit of a cold, my heart rate was sky high, I really wasn't feeling great, but I didn't, I didn't know, like, sometimes that affects your performance, sometimes it doesn't, so uh, I went out and gave it a go. Um, so as you can see on the screen, I've got my camera on the front of my bike, the uh, video that's looking from the rear is from Dean, thank you Dean, uh, for sorting out some footage, it's not in sync, so you might see me in two places at once, like Inception, etc., uh, but hopefully you can figure out what's happening. So here we go, so we're actually in the in the chain now, we've done 15, 20 minutes easy, we've warmed into it, now we're going pretty hard. We were talking about this as a group actually, we're gonna continue to make it surgy rather than making it smooth, because when we go to races, it's not a smooth chain through and off all the time, that's what we have been doing for a while, so when people pull through a little bit too hard, we're not going to moan about it, we're going to just deal with it, so there you go. I think there was 11 of us out uh, tonight, there's Brent just going past me. Brent actually rides a, I think it's a Cannondale Slice, like one of the old Cannondale TT bikes, but it's built it up into a road bike. Um, you can see here I'm following uh, a guy called Chris. You might remember Chris from the last couple of club rides. Um, I've been saying and telling everybody that him and his bike combined are 62 kilos, and that's why he drops me up hills. He did message me the other day to correct me. He said that I've been saying it wrong. He's actually, him and his bike combined, are 57 kilos. <laughs> what on earth? So forgive me for leaving him sitting in the wind for a while there. Sometimes when people drop the wheel like that, there's a big gap. The rider behind will come around and help me do the turn, but I'll let him have that one. Uh, call it even, mate. Uh, just here behind Richard, I think this is when Richard ejects from the group. So the pace was on. I think we averaged to the turnaround, so it's halfway, maybe like 27 miles an hour, 26 miles an hour. Ridiculous. So see here, he's waving me through. He's dropping uh, distance, so he's slowing me right down. I'm waiting for Chris to come around me. Then I've got a big surge to put in to try and get back on this chain. Richard's now peeled off and gone. See you later. Thanks for coming. 
uh, and I've got a bit of a gap to pull. So you, I think here Chris pulls over into the slower line, and you've got to gauge your effort then. Okay, if you put a big dig in, if you're not going to be able to pull through, then yes, drop onto the slower line and wait a few, you know, a minute or two before your next turn. Um, I obviously was, thought I was feeling better than I actually was and came through, but there's a bit of a gap and people are thinking, what's going off? But um, I eventually do get to the front, I promise. What's the next clip then? Here we go. Um, is this when I get dropped? Okay, so this is when I wave the next person through. So when you're in the chain and you're feeling it, you you, you, you sit on. But in order to do that, I need to tell somebody. So I told uh, Paul there, tell Matt, because he shouted last man to me. When somebody shouts last man, you know that you're pulling out after that person. I said, no, tell Matt. And he then said to Matt, last man. And you saw there, Matt double checked when he came past because he's used to me saying Matt, last man for the last few minutes. Uh, when we're doing like the, the silly speeds we're doing and the high adrenaline, you've got to be really clear with your communications. And we do a great job of that. There's well, not any crashes to my knowledge on a fast Friday for a long time. Uh, so that's the way to, that's where we're going to keep it. So here now, I'm sitting on the back of the group. Uh, Alex is doing the same thing. So I'm like, see you there, he just flicks an elbow. Sitting on the back of the group is not an easy place to be. Because they're rotating through, you can't really sit directly on somebody's wheel. So you sort of like sat on the slow lines wheel, then you sort of follow them as they pull across, and then you've got to go back left and close that gap a little bit. <coughs> so it's not a super easy place to be. I was sat here doing like threshold heart rate uh, and still quite a lot of power to sit there. But um, And then Alex could then sit on my wheel as I had been sat on his. So if that was going to continue, we would have like perhaps changed places doing a little chain gang behind the chain gang. This is the final climb. Uh, we climb up into Ripley. It's by no means a big steep climb. This is the shallow part. I'm not normally first to the top, but I normally hang on up this little bit. Uh, as you can see, the group is just riding away from me. It has whittled down to about six riders, seven riders. So a couple more people did drop off. I actually turned around before the halfway point. It was an out and back route, this route, this route we did. Out to Matlock and back if you know it. Um, so you go around the roundabout at the end and come back on the same road. So if you've been dropped, you can turn around before the turn, get back up to speed and have an easy few minutes. And when the group comes past you again, you can jump on and have another go. That's the idea, isn't it? So yeah, there we go. Chain gang done and dusted. Not exactly to plan, but sort of is the plan because some days you don't feel great and you shouldn't have people riding easier just because of that. Um, mentioned earlier, we're going to continue to make this hard. So if you're looking for like a race simulation ride slash chain gang in the, in the Derbyshire area, please feel free to hit me up or South Normanton Cycling Club on Instagram. And uh, yeah, you're very welcome to come along. But it is a drop ride now, as the lad lads have just proved. If you get dropped, you drop. Nothing, no, nothing mean meant about it. It's just a case of that's that motivates us to get better. So that is it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope it's inspired you to to do better, try harder, keep pushing when perhaps those days aren't as easy as they should be, because uh, it certainly does me. So I'll see you tomorrow at 4 p.m. Please subscribe if you haven't already.